is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's, sounds good to me. No second surprise, I don't see anyone's first and last name, shut up. And I mean that, shut up, because what you're doing is you're trying to spin things in a negative way that's not true, all right? I just explained. The only thing that I can 100% guarantee see is an email address and see if the account is verified or not. That's it. Any other information is what you choose to list. You could say your name is Peanut Butter Jelly Time and all I'll see is Peanut Butter Jelly Time sent me a tip. Right? <clears throat> now stop it. Shut up. He's trying to spread misinformation. He's like, oh, can I see? You can see their real name? No, I can't. <laughs> Jesus. Dishonesty for me is a big thing. It's like the ultimate betrayal. You know what I mean? Fred Kaczynski cheers. I genuinely... I genuinely, none of us would care if you had a contract and were unable to tell us details about how much you were making but never had to ask for money. Again, it wasn't constant life or death situation financially. It's not a constant life or death situation financially and it hasn't been in quite some time, so I don't know what you're talking about. This year in particular, things have gotten a lot better for me behind the scenes financially, so I don't know what you mean by that because I'm not like that anymore. But here's the thing and here's the problem, Fred. There's always a trade-off. So if I right now were to get a sponsorship with someone, all right, I would have to shill that product constantly, all right? I just would have to. It would be part of my streams to shill. People don't like that. They don't want to hear me hawking a product. They don't want to hear me kissing a game's ass. They want me to be honest. And in the few sponsorships I've had over the years, I feel that it's my honesty that really doesn't make me appealing to a, a wide audience of sponsors. For example, I had a Loot Crate sponsorship for about two and a half years. And by the time that the Loot Crate sponsorship ended, I barely even cared about it. I was like, wow, this is junk. <laughs> yeah, I was being honest with you guys in the unboxing video. Like, There's a lot of junk in this one. You know? So, of course, Loot Crate doesn't want me as a sponsor because I'm telling everyone that the stuff they're sending me is junk because it was. You know? The truth is, this year I could have had a ton of sponsorship opportunities. I could have. A lot of them opened up. And I couldn't get them because whenever I tried, people would harass the fuck out of whoever the sponsor was. And the sponsor was like, not that we believe anything they're saying, but we can't have this level of harassment on our social That's media, support, you know, and with our products. So, sorry, we can't have you have the sponsorship, you know? I'm not going to kiss uh, a game's ass, a product's ass. I've just never been like that, okay? Absolutely never been like that at all. So, please be, understand, I would be changing my entire person, my entire persona, the entire reason that I do this on the internet is to be honest with you. That's why I feel I've had longevity, because Phil Burnell, a.k.a. Dark Side Phil, is no shill. I'm here to be honest and have real reactions to games every single day. And that's why people come to tune into me. They're not coming in to see, you know, you want to see product placements, you want to see people who are making it big and getting a paycheck every day, go check out one of the top streamers, right? They're going to have a million ads on their stream, shilling products, oh, NDAs, oh, I'm playing a game early, but I can't criticize the game. It's just a paid advertisement stream. Go watch that if you want, and that's fine. If that's the kind of product you like, go ahead. But I, I'm not like that, and I would never support that. You know, that's, that's not what I'm all about. This guy is 1 million percent a pathological liar and a sociopath. So, Fred, I understand what you're saying, but you have to understand that it's kind of a double-edged sword. Sure, if I never had to talk about crowdfunding, I never had to tell you guys, hey, I need your support, please support the streams, I'm sure that would be a positive. At the very same time, you know, <laughs> I'd have to be a shill. I don't want to be that, you know? I'm not, you're not going to see me change who I am as a person and change my whole methodology of the content that I put out there because that's why I'm still here, right? How many people can you say have been a consistent 12-year content creator, right? Not many. They're, they're out there. Oh, tons. There's probably a couple hundred people who've been around the block like me. But few and far between. Most people have started way after me, jumped on a trend and got hot and popular because of that. I'm here and I have the longevity I have because of who I am. I'm not going to change my identity to make it big and make some money. I'm not, you know, that's not who I, I've turned down many opportunities over the years. So many companies reached out to me. Will you represent my game? Will you do this? Will you do that? No. No. That's not what I do. That's not what I want to do. I feel that that would be irresponsible. You know? So... I understand what you're saying, Fred, at the same time, that's not me, and it's not going to be me, okay? You talk about a lying, dishonest piece of fucking shit. This guy is the absolute bottom of the barrel when it comes to content creation.
It, it, he is the worst, lowest form of content creator. Should not be allowed on YouTube. Should not be allowed on the fucking internet. He's a blatant fucking liar. Okay? Smash that sub button like this. Come on, champions. You gotta join the champions club. Let's do it. Come on. Smash it. Whoa. Holy shit. Dan's Gaming just gifted a hundred subs to the community, dude. Oh my god. It's terrible. Dan's Gaming, wow, thank you so very much. That is amazing. I don't know what prompted this generosity or why Dan's Gaming is being so nice to us. But thank you very much, Dan's Gaming, of all people, you know, a very large streamer, just came in and, uh, and, and helped out. Thank you. I mean, that's a hundred names. I don't think I'm going to read those. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of freaking names, man. Holy crap, that's a lot. Thank you, Dan's Gaming. Wow. And again, I don't know what prompted this. You're a nice dude. Thank you so very much. That's really nice of you to help me out and also to help out all of my stream viewers. Thank you. Happy holidays to Dan's Gaming. That's really nice. Hallelujah, the money's coming in. Hallelujah. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Why are none of them talking? Because I had to turn on sub-only mode because some guy... Excuse me, not sub-only mode. Um, Followers-only mode because some guy came in here and was, was spouting racial shit. You know, that's against Twitch rules and was disgusting. And there's no way for me to stop it because they found some way around the filter of Nightbot. I don't know how, but... So, thank you, Dan's Gaming. You're really nice, man. Really nice guy. Some people are saying that, uh... Some people are saying they want me to read it. <laughs> are you really want me to read all these? I will if you guys really want me to. All hundred names. It's going to take me a long time, though. Holy crap. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the following people who were gifted a sub by Dan's Gaming. Thank you, Dan's Gaming, again for the support. All right, here we go. Woo! That's a lot of subs. Thank you very much again to Dan's Gaming. The guy <laughs> watching his Twitch. Is that really him? Is he the yes. one that caught it, Matt? Yes. Really? Well, here we go. Alexander Rossi cheers. I just checked Dan's Twitter mentions. People are flooding his mentions, insulting him, and slandering you over the gifted subs. There you go. And that's the what I mean. That's why, as I just said on this very stream, I would never host, or excuse me, I would never raid someone because there's disgusting trolls who harass me all the time. Dan's Gaming did nothing wrong. He did something very, a very nice gesture to myself and also to my viewers to give them all, give them all these subs. And of course, now these scumbag people are going to go harass him online because of it. That's why I wouldn't do a raid on anyone because all that would happen, it would bring those shitheads to someone else's business and stream. I would never do that. So that's why I just kind of stay to myself, so. If there's someone who literally is putting out no quality content or anything, and they're just sitting here begging for money, that's pretty low. What the hell? Who is Maggie Burnell? I've never heard of a Maggie Burnell in my life, so. If there is a Maggie Burnell, she has nothing to do with me. Never heard of them. Oop, shit. I just spilled water all over my laptop. Yes, I did. That's not good. <laughs> I accidentally knocked over my water bottle. Hold on while I grab some tissues to dry this, guys, before my laptop gets destroyed, which it might be. Oh, great. Dump the water bottle right on the laptop. Son of a bitch. Well, that's not good. Let's soak it up quickly before it seeps into the keyboard. Hopefully it did not. It wasn't a ton of water at the same time. You know, any water on a laptop is dangerous, right? Okay, hold on. Oh, boy. That's a lot of water. Dry this immediately. Alright, hold on one second. So I lift this up and attempt to dry the whole thing off, because yo man, it's wet. <laughs> it went through the hinge. I might have looked out, it might have passed completely through the hinge on the screen and not actually seep into the laptop at all. So I might be lucky here. Uh well, no telling yet. Hold on. No telling as of yet. <laughs> Remarkably, this is the first time I've done this in how many years that I've streamed in this office? This is the first time I've had a significant water spill. Thank God it's just water. Let me dry this up. Alright, so now, I've dried all the water. Let's take a look at this thing now. It looks fine. Yeah, I didn't, you know why? I really lucked out on this one. Man, did I look out. Holy shit. So, wow. That could have been real bad, and it wasn't. Whew, that was close. Okay, hold on. 
As you can see, here's why I just lucked out. Seriously. Hold on a second, by the way, because I was doing something, and that's when I knocked over my water. <laughs> okay. So, whew. I looked out, and here's why. So this laptop, all right? <laughs> First of all, this is what I drink out of. It's a thermos with a very small hole in the top. If this was a thermos with an open top, this thing would have spilled everywhere and probably destroyed the laptop, okay? But because it's this kind of thermos, the water only comes out in a very controlled spout. So when this tipped over, it poured water, but it only poured water onto the hinge of the laptop, okay? And the hinge of the laptop was, you know, it went through and went under the laptop and went a little bit on the screen and a little bit on the, on, the, on the keyboard. So I ran over and I grabbed these tissues quickly and I started drying. And what happened is the water just went through the hinge under it and underneath the laptop, it actually sits on these tiny little feet. So the water just stayed under the laptop. It actually didn't go in the laptop at all. It just went on top and under. So I was able to dry it real quickly and it looks fine now. I think I'm good. Yeah, I think I avoided, I seriously think I just avoided disaster. Even though, like I've told you guys, I'm going to get a new laptop sooner rather than later because this one, this one is shot. Um, I don't, you know, luckily, I did, I took care of this so quickly that I think I'm all right. It doesn't seem like it's affected at all. Yeah, that was close. Because on a laptop, I can't monitor the stream chat. I can't talk to you guys without it, you know. So thank God that I got, I, I saved it. But I need to get a new one anyway, so. Is that a $300 thermos? No, I bought this many years ago and I have no idea how much this thermos cost. But I'm sure that that's what my haters would say. They'd say it's like a $400 thermos that I wasted people's money on, of course. Okay, anyway. Um... You guys are like 10 years old. All my viewers are children. Everyone knows this. That's what everyone says is that all my viewers are young children. Oh, Montana Country Girl cheered again and said, Oh, it's not fair. You're taking off, you're taking off Christmas. I know. I'm sorry. I forgot about when yeah, I signed that contract of indentured servitude for all of you that I have to be so, here 24-7. I can never have any time to myself star. or my family. I'm very sorry. But tough shit. Dr. Generic Cheers says, what did I get Kat for Christmas? I got her so, uh, something nice. It's none of your business. But I got her something nice. So there you go. <laughs> none of anyone's business. Every single thing I say is somehow twisted into something negative. So fuck that. You get no specifics. Here we go. We got more people insulting. I might just have to turn on followers only mode again because we got a bunch of people here tonight who are accounts I don't recognize. They're not, you know, no one who's usually here. And they're just, they're here, they're saying insulting stuff. They're derailing the stream. They're basically here just to fuck, fuck with us and not allow us to have a good night. So I might just have to turn on followers only mode again because this is fucking pissing me off at this point. Beautiful butterfly cheating. So thank you for turning on followers only mode. The trolls are starting to derail the stream. Yes, they were. I know. They were just sitting here making dummy accounts and saying insanely stupid shit. And no one could concentrate. I couldn't fucking concentrate. Very annoying. I'm going to talk with my mods and find out what's going on because there's been a couple of streams there's been no mods. And it's frustrating when we're trying to enjoy a game, you know. And uh, there's nobody here to, to, to help. I can do. I can only do so much myself. Do we have any mods, please? Mods, please check the chat. I'm playing the game. Mods? Any mods? Moderators? <sighs> Timbo Slice is serious. Good news. Uh, in the country, Congress passed the stimulus bill. Yes, but you may not realize this, Timbo. That stimulus bill was paired together with a bunch of other shit, including part of that bill. I'm not exaggerating. Part of that bill says that if you are a streamer who, who has a business and you stream something that's considered to be copyright content, it's a felony. I'm not kidding. That was part of the bill. That bill was over 5,000 pages and had a bunch of unrelated laws in it that had nothing to do with the stimulus. And all the lawmakers glossed over it, didn't read it, and just signed it because it was a stimulus package. I'm serious. All that shit is actually in there. So... They just passed a law that's basically a fuck over for a bunch of people, and I, no one has any idea how this is going to affect stuff. I'm serious. This bill had stuff that was like um, millions and millions of dollars going to foreign countries. It has nothing to do with the stimulus package, but they passed it all in one one sweep. So this is why I don't talk politics. It's too frustrating. Anyway, uh, red vest for the next few minutes. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>